What's up everyone? I am Shoes and I'm here with another chicken sandwich review from our pals at KFC. They have the new classic crispy chicken sandwich and a spicy version as well. And honestly, it's taken me too long to get to these. It really has. And that is because it wasn't available in my area. For whatever reason, KFC didn't launch this everywhere all at once. It took some time to finally get here, but now it's here. Now I've got one of each and I am ready to dig in because KFC usually doesn't disappoint me. I think the last time I had something from KFC, it was that chicken sandwich in the donut, which was spectacular. And I absolutely love that. And I'm hoping to love these today. But before we get started, please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to further support, dip down into the description and check out my merch store, maybe buy a t-shirt to help support and keep this channel going. But until then, let's eat some lunch. We've got classic chicken, we've got spicy, and right off the bat, I have an issue because the bags are completely the same. No demarcation over which is which. Why would you do that? KFC, why? Just how hard is it to write an S on it for spicy with a grease pencil or something? It's really not that difficult. Just, just tell me. I'm not going to be mad. I, I want to eat it. I'm going to eat it anyway, but I just want to know. So we're going to have to figure this one out for ourselves. I would say this first one I'm looking at, I would say this one is the regular crispy. Oh, okay. Yes. This one is definitely the spicy. There is a not on the chicken breast itself, but on the bottom, we've got a, what looks to be like some kind of chipotle spicy sauce. So since it's in my hand, we'll eat the spicy first. So we've got chicken, a nice brioche bun, spicy sauce along the top. You see, they didn't get the whole bun. You know how that bothers me. But we got a nice size chicken breast. And on the bottom, we've got pickles because once again, that seems to be the go-to with these crispy chicken sandwiches is it's just some sauce and some pickles and then we call it a day. Uh, the bun feels very thick, just in my hands. It, I, in my hands, it feels like a good size. But I'm, I'm excited. I've been waiting for this sandwich, so let's dig in. Spicy chicken, here we go. Mm. I'm enjoying it. It feels pretty basic. Right now, the spicy, I would put above the McDonald's version. I do not think it matches up to the ones at that top level. It's not there. But it is good. And biting into it, the chicken's very juicy. The bun comes off. The bun is good. The spicy sauce, not hot but nice little flavor to it. So right now I'm kind of above the middle of the pack, but not in that top tier. So there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, this is still a, a pretty good sandwich, but now we got to try out the regular crispy. So no spicy here, but same same blueprints. We got our brioche bun, our chicken breast, and then instead of the chipotle spicy sauce, we've got mayonnaise. Once again, a good size 
feels good. It feels good in your hands. Like you feel like you're not just eating like something off the dollar menu, which is what I worry about when people are promoting like these sandwiches. I feel like I'm going to be disappointed and like have to go back and order five. This is not the case. It is a good size. And for $3.99, I think it's well worth the price. But here we go. So this is no spicy sauce with mayo instead. Here we go. Um. Once again, good. I'm enjoying it. I would definitely order it again. I would tell you to go out and get it right now. It's pretty good. I enjoy all the elements of this sandwich. The chicken is good. The bun is good. Both the mayo and the pickles was a good um, addition. Obviously, it works. Everybody's doing it. What it lacks in creativity, it makes up for in quality but it just, it doesn't take that next step. It doesn't make it to that next level. It's still good, but I wouldn't put it on par with a Chick-fil-A or a Popeye's. Uh, the spicy chicken is not like dipped in sauce. It just has the sauce on the bun instead of um, actually like on the chicken breast itself. Which, it's, I mean, it's still good. So it's still good. Not life-changing, but I think it's good enough to go out and try. Definitely go get it. Because, listen, not everyone has a Chick-fil-A near them. Not everyone has a Popeye's near them. KFC has been around for a lot of good and bad times. I mean, they gave us the mashed potato bowl. That thing was a game-changer back in the day. I still love a mashed potato bowl. It's spectacular. KFC, I want to say thank you for lunch. This was very good. I enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I still think you're quasi middle of the pack in these chicken sandwich wars. So I'm going to give you a triple and a half main man, three and a half stars. You're good. You're very tasty. I enjoyed this. And like I said, I will order this again. But you just couldn't break that glass ceiling to get to the next level and be in that upper tier. Hey. Not everyone can be number one, but this is still a very solid offering, very delicious. Go try it out for yourself. Be sure to tell me what you think down in the comments. Get at me on social media, at The Joe Shoes, and remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, that way you can keep coming back for more when we eat our next meal. So KFC, good job. I did enjoy this and I hope we get to do this again really soon. Until next time.